Good morning. Uh, we are going to try and um, look at the abbreviations used on the periodic table um, because when we write chemical formulas out or molecules, they're going to be abbreviated. And we need to know what those abbreviations mean when it's just one letter. So let me give you an example here. Hello. All right, starting off with something that we know and recognize, we have a water molecule. Now, with the water molecule, it's H2O. Uh, let me see if I can write this a little bit better. H2O. So what does the H stand for, and what does the O stand for, and what's the 2 mean? Um, in this case, what you have is you have a hydrogen atom. There's actually two hydrogen atoms. That's what the 2 is telling you. So H on the periodic table is hydrogen. And in this case, there's two of them. Um, the reason that I know that there's two is the two that's subscript below the H. And you see the O. O stands for oxygen. And there's no number below the O. So that's just a default of one oxygen atom. So H2O, H stands for hydrogen. There's two of them. O stands for oxygen. OK, let's look at another common uh, molecule to help us get these abbreviations. So CO2. You've heard of CO2 before. Uh, carbon dioxide. It's one of the greenhouse gases. We talk about this a lot in um, all of our science courses, the greenhouse gases and climate change. But what does that mean? What does CO2 represent? The C, if you look on the periodic table, is the abbreviation for carbon. Um, there's no number below the C, so by default there's just one carbon that we're looking at. And if we look at the oxygen, the O, O again is representing oxygen, and the 2 is telling us that there are two oxygens. So this is just the basic way to read these molecules. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit more complex when we have to mix molecules together, when we actually have some kind of um, combining um, or chemical reaction. So let's show you how it can get a little bit more complex. So we're going to build off what we know. So we started with CO2 on the last example. Now we saw how to read CO2 and what that means. But sometimes you're going to see it like this, where there is a 2 out front. Now that 2, it's kind of like math. That 2 is going to double everything inside. So there was one carbon, but that 2 out front now is going to say that there are 2 carbons. If it doubles everything inside there, um, how many oxygens are we going to have? Originally we said there was two oxygens in a CO2 molecule, but that two out front will double those two oxygens. So we go from two, we go from two to four oxygens. And you're going to have some practice with this later on, but I just wanted to introduce okay. this concept. Um, let's try one more. Okay, this one just combines everything we've learned so far, so it's nothing new in, in that respect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out Fe2 O3. Close that off a little bit. Um, so if you look at Fe, um, you'll notice that the E is lowercase. So that's letting you know that there's not a new atom. You can find Fe on the periodic table. Um, Fe is iron. And the 2 there uh, should be a little bit lower, but that's indicating, again, that there's two iron atoms. And the O here is saying that there's three 
oxygen atoms. Okay, so this is one molecule. It's made up of two irons, three oxygens. But we already know that. So we're going to practice one more time with putting a two out front. And the two will double everything that's inside. If it was a three out front, it would triple everything that's, that's on the inside there. So we have two irons. If we double that, that will give us four iron atoms. And if we double the three oxygens, that will give us six oxygens. Okay? So again, you'll get some more practice with this. This is just introducing the concept of reading abbreviations and what do the numbers mean when they're next to these abbreviations. All right, in your practice today, you're going to take an atom inventory of a molecule. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. If I give you something like CH4, um, which is methane, I want to know how many carbons there are and how many hydrogens there are. So in your practice, you're simply going to figure out how many of each there are, what atom is being abbreviated there, and you're going to write it like this. One carbon, and you're going to figure out that there's four hydrogens. And that's your atom inventory. Um, you simply tell me how many of each atom there is. Now, if there's a number out front of the molecule, you have to take that into account too, just like in the video I mentioned uh, previously.